Hey guys, Catlin back, uh, jumping in with number two here. The state of New Mexico has a really weird sales tax. Theirs is five and an eighth percent, or 5.125, and that number converted into its decimal form is really long. So let's let's start by looking at what that looks like for a second. Okay, so 5.125 percent. If you move that decimal two places to the left, you're going to get the decimal point of uh, 0, 0.5 one two five so that's the multiplier that you would use in finding the tax okay so these equations are representing finding things with that multiplier and it wants us to pick all the equations that represent the sales tax T you would pay in New Mexico for item cost C so if it helps you to maybe make a little table kinda like we had up here the cost C and then the tax would be like this middle column here all right. If I paid this much, what would I do to get the tax? That's what they're asking. Like, what would I multiply the price by to get the tax? Well, that would be our multiplier of 0 0.05125. All right. That's kind of how our table situation sets up. So we're we're looking for an equation that matches this scenario. All right. Uh, we don't multiply C by 5.125. That would be ridiculous. That would be paying way too much tax. Uh, this one right here put a uh, put the right number in there, multiplied by C. Uh, the only problem is they left off the placeholder of the zero that goes between the point and the five. So that's why that one's wrong. Uh, C is set up perfectly, just like we would expect. We multiply the C times that to get the T. Um, we don't divide to go back and get the T, so that one doesn't work. And if you actually look at this fraction right here, 5.125 over 100 is the same thing as I wrote this one up here. So 5.125 over 100 would essentially move your decimal place over twice and give you this number. So this is actually the same thing as this decimal point. So that one's okay too. So we want to pick C and E for that problem. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into number three. I think we've got enough time on this video to do it also. We've got prices of items and their sales tax. And in this problem, instead of filling out the table, we have to tell them what the sales, the sales tax rate is. So we got to use our table to find the sales tax rate, which means we got to find uh, what number jumps the cost to the sales tax. So we're, we're trying to find what's the constant of proportionality. And to find a constant of proportionality, you've got to divide. You've got to divide the numbers that are, that are given to you. So for example, like 46 cents divided by 10 that tells you that you're dealing with this tax rate. You know, you can see it also in the 230 when you divide it by 50. It should be consistent throughout all of these scenarios, and it is. So this is our multiplier. We're multiplying by 0 .046. And that's, that's our tax rate, but it's in decimal form. So we need to go back to percent form. When we went from percent to decimal, we moved it two places to the left. But to go from decimal to percent, we just move it two places to the right. So uh, this moves it over here and puts the decimal between the four and six. And so you get 4.6%. And then it wants us to write an expression for this. So just kind of like we had up here without the equals, what are you multiplying the cost by? Well, we multiply it by 0 0.046 and then our C times C. You can put the little dot here to show they're getting multiplied. But that's the expression that would go from uh, what we get charged to the amount of tax uh, that we uh, have to pay. And that's it for number two and number three.